Hello everyone, I am the artist Hidoria Filionti and today we'll be painting with an art supplies as always uh, some nice uh, stuffed olives on the stick. Um, I think it's an interesting subject. I really like this image and the olives are very glossy so you'll see how uh, to paint uh, glossy and shiny like things and objects. Uh, so yes, I think this is really nice for people who are static out and they want something that is uh, with simple shapes so you don't really have to be an expert uh, sketching or drawing uh, to manage this. And also we will be painting with a limited palette. So it's not easy to, to create the colors either. So this is really a uh, fun exercise for anyone who is beginner and is willing to, he or she is willing to start something new and uh, simple to learn how to blend the colors, how to create the sign and all these things. Uh, so now I'll just be flipping my camera around and showing you my table and my little drawing and from there I'll show you uh, step by step the whole process. So in the meantime if you have any questions don't forget to message me here. I'm always happy to chat with you and also have a look down at the carousel and like I said if you have any questions I'm here for you to answer any of them. Okay so what do we have here? So this is a little drawing of the stuffed olives. Um, I think it's an interesting image. They could have been like inside a martini cocktail glass. That'd be also pretty cool, I think. Um, but we're starting like little by little, I guess. Maybe that's an interesting uh, subject for another time. And of course, I'm always happy uh, to receive like any requests from you from for any subject if there is something that interests you and you'd like to see uh, like a tutorial on how to recreate that with so not surprised so feel free to to message me and tell me uh, what you like to see uh, in the future so in the meantime this is a little drawing uh, it's very easy very simple to to create basic shapes surround shapes um, it will have, like I said, a lot of gloss and sign, and uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Um, it's an interesting subject, definitely not something that you see often. But I like so many like different things, uh, things that are a bit out of the ordinary, I suppose. So this is my palette, the one that I'll be using today to change things up a bit from the classical palette that I always use. So this is the Ceresa palette. And the reason I picked this one, uh, this palette doesn't really have many greens, to be honest, but it does have this one that is a perfect, like, olive uh, green shade. Uh, this is a beautiful green. What's it called? But yeah, olive green, obviously. So yeah, it has this olive green and also, you know, it has a couple other colors here that can help us mix our greens ourselves. So I do like this palette. Of course, there are other palettes uh, that have like blues and greens, like the Vista palette has a lot of green color selection, but lighter shades. So I do prefer this one. And also, I have this palette here to help me out, the Allegro, in case I need to mix any other colors. So it also has this beautiful green shades. This is a, also another olive green, and this is uh, probably a sap green. And then we have all these other beautiful colors. So this one, uh, in comparison, has more colors. Um, and it has also a different layout. It has uh, this as a mixing area and then you get two brushes with this palette so you have this water brush which is very useful to have actually uh, I've seen you probably have uh, seen this one uh, quite a lot and then we have the flat brush to create you know sharper edges and then we also have the sponge um, if you're wondering well what is this for uh, you tap your brush right here and it uh, absorbs the excess moisture and you can either, you know, completely remove it. It's removable from your palette and you can use it to create different effects, to lift color, to create, you know, little clouds perhaps, or, you know, even correct mistakes. So this is a very um, 
nice and easy palette to, to use. Um, and then we have this one that is uh, uh, quite different, it has 12 colors. Um, I love this palette to create portraits and flash stones. Uh, it has those beautiful, um, those really nice uh, shades, the Naples, rose and the pale terracotta that are ideal for rose ticks for everything that is related to, to skin tones and um, I love this this one and I also love those two colors um, the Kiana Ukraine rose and the Cobra Bridal Cube they're very beautiful um, yeah I don't think we'll be using them today but uh, we'll mix in our greens uh, for the olives but also they're stacked so inside here they have like a little bit of red peeking through. So for the paper, I'm using the um, paper rooms and art supplies. I think this one was uh, from the largest pad they have, uh, we have, but um, I've cut it in half. Uh, but we also have like smaller papers. You can see down this carousel, which one uh, you prefer the most. We have different sizes. It's 100% uh, cotton, so it's very absorbing. Um, yeah, so I guess the first step, like always, um, is to just grab my, my paper tape. And what I do is I just, you know, stretch my paper on all four sides just to make sure it doesn't move around. Or, you know, if I add too much water on my paint, my, my painting, um, the, the paper will remain like flat, no matter how many washes you keep adding like on top, so that's, that's kind of important too. So no stretching on all, all four sides. Great. Um, now I'm just going to grab the palette and just start mixing some of the colors I'll be uh, using today and then we can start with the washes. Um, it always helps to be prepared when you're painting with, with watercolor. Um, really uh, the key is to yeah, work with layers. Um, okay. Um, okay, let's see. So I'll be grabbing this beautiful olive green. It's a really beautiful shade. It's like the perfect shade. Uh, but in the picture, uh, it's slightly lighter, but let's see. Um, so I'll be mixing a little bit of this, I believe is the um, pale terracotta with our olive green. Yeah, that made so much difference. Yeah. Now it really matches exactly my reference. Um, what else? So we'll be also mixing our olive green with a bit of burnt sienna, a bit more olive green, you know, for those darker areas and throwing in a little bit of the um, golden catoprene for a good measure. And I don't know, I guess I'll also be mixing a little bit of, of yellow. Let's mix a little bit of yellow here. Okay. And um, we can start with, uh, with some thin washes.
You can also work a little bit wet on wet to create you know, some values. Okay, so now you, you see that we have like um, added, you know, some basic values. And now we need to either wait or use a hairbrush to speed up the process a little bit. I will opt for the latter. Um, I always have like a hairdryer lying around to help me speed up a bit the process. Definitely John Ross and lay on top other colors when the colors aren't yet dry because that would um, make your colors look muddy and uh, if we go in right now and fill in the, the red bit the colors will bleed into each other and it won't look realistic and if you're going for a more detailed and realistic uh, illustration or drawing uh, you need to wait for its layer to dry and then you can go ahead and add more detail and more detail and um, this is how watercolors work really this is the idea behind it Oops. Right. Um, so now we can go and add more details since the layers are dry. Oh, great.
Okay, let's use the hair dryer again. Okay, so now we've got a smaller brush. Let's start, you know, working on the smaller details that really make all the difference. Just keep adding details until we're like satisfied with the final result. And we're mixing some of the colors in the process. So in this case, we're just remixing the olive green with the um, uh, umber and the burnt umber and also the golden catacrine so you just make a yellow uh, kind of olive green so this is what we're doing we're mixing some of the colors to use again
Okay, I will also keep adding uh, the, uh, the color on the inside um, by mixing vermilion and, um, and uh, yellow oxide and um, yeah, golden catechine. So this kind of not quite red, not quite orange color. Okay, now um, I guess I'll be um, adding some highlights with some white because I think those are going to help quite a bit. Just you're mixing some of the colors with gouache. It makes like a more subtle difference when you want to create a more blended look just to mix a bit of white uh, in the colors you're using so you can create different variations and say it's the same color but different tones and then it makes the color change a bit more realistic. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, now let's do that. Okay. It's much a little bit of white in here, so I can also create different variations in the color and just create some highlights based on that. Okay, so now also let's paint um, this stick that the olives are on. It's just mixing a color that we already have with a, that we've mixed with a red and mixing it with some uh, catacrine, clean catacrine to create this kind of um wooden color Now that it's dry, we can go and add a bit more detail, um, some more highlights to make it really uh, pop.
second. Setting a little bit more yellow in the areas. Okay, so I think it's too shiny for you to really see. Um, I guess I'll be using the hair dryer to uh, get it drier, and then we can see if we need to touch up anything. Okay, that is what we'll do.
Let's play, take a little bit of grounding in. Okay, and I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And like always, if you uh, love to paint with Zenart Supplies, use the hashtag Zenart Supplies on Instagram so we can possibly feature you on our, on our Facebook group and also on our Instagram account. And of course, uh, if you are a member on Facebook group, don't forget to so beautiful creations. And if you're not already a member, you can find us uh, under the name uh, Inspiration Daily um, on Facebook group. I love to see you there. And we have uh, more tutorials at Spamp. And of course, if you'd like to see more tutorials, you can find us on the YouTube channel, on the YouTube channel, uh, The Not Supplies. And we have so much more uh, sources for you to see and of course don't forget to follow us here on Amazon as well for more tutorials and demonstrations and thank you for watching have a great day goodbye guys